Hello, Mr. Jones. How are you doing today? I'm okay. My name is Alex Ross, and I'm an OT student. We'll be doing an evaluation. Is that okay? Sure. Okay. Um, so first, I'll we'll go over uh, your medical history. Um, so your um, your date of birth? Um, 1963. All right. And um, so you're in the hospital um, because uh, you had heart surgery, is that correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, and so it looks like while, um, while you're in surgery, you had a stroke. Um, so it's, it's a stroke on the right side and it's affected your, your, left, um, your left arm and hand, is that correct? That's right. Okay, and uh, so because of your surgery, <clears throat> you have sternal precautions, do you know those? Um, they told me about it. Where are they again? Okay, so um, when you're standing up, <clears throat> you always want to protect your chest. And so um, in a minute, we'll, um, we'll see how you do standing up and transferring to the chair. I'm going to give you this pillow um, to hold um, because you don't want to do any anything that would um, stress the incision that you have. So no, no bending, no twisting and also um, no lifting, um, nothing over your head, and nothing lifting that's over uh, eight to 10 pounds. So a gallon of milk is about eight pounds. So that would be the limit of what you want to lift. Okay. Okay, and so it looks like <clears throat> you're also on nectar consistency liquids. So um, it might be um, you're having a bit of, of trouble swallowing. That's right. So, okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, so in the past you've had uh, hypertension and arthritis. Okay, and you've had a uh, tonsillectomy in 1990. That's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, so uh, prior coming to the hospital, were you independent or did you need any assistance? Um, not really much assistance. Okay, so you... Did you have any equipment that you need, like a wheelchair? Or no, nothing like that, yeah. Okay. Okay. And um, uh, so where you live right now, um, is, is that a one story or do you have stairs? Um, it's with? a condo, but we're on the first floor, no stairs. Okay. And so, and you live with? My wife. Your wife, okay. So if you need some help recovering, she can be there. Is, would she be home to help you with that? Yeah, she will be. Okay. And um, is there anyone else living? Um, we have a dog, but he's not much help. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so let's see. And um, uh, so what do you like doing um, in your spare time? I like to cook, <laughs> and I will do model airplanes. Okay. And um, are, are you still working? or? Yes, I'm an electrician. All right. Okay. So just going to um, take a look through here. Um, can you read that clock over there on the wall for me? Yes, it is quarter till nine. Okay. And um, so again, we were, we were talking about um, your nectar consistency liquids. What kind of breakfast did you have this morning? I had oatmeal and yogurt. Okay. Right. <clears throat> and um, while you're at home, if there's um, if there's a fire or you smell smoke. At one in the morning, what would you do? Um, let my wife know and call the call nine one one and get out of the condo. Okay. So it looks like short-term memory, long-term memory. Um, that looks good. Okay. Um, and uh, are you having any trouble any trouble hearing? Um, not any more than usual. Okay. And are you having any trouble seeing any uh, blurry vision or double vision? Um, no. You know, I, I get worn out pretty easily, but 
and it doesn't affect my vision. All right. And so how many fingers am I holding up? Two. Oh, perfect. And um, just going to uh, shine a light to your eye. Oh, you look up for me. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, do physical evaluation. So we're going to do manual muscle testing um, uh, just to see if I know you have some weakness on your left side. Um, and also just want to get some um, idea of your functional movement. Um, so uh, uh, stuff to help you um, uh, for eating or for grooming, we'll, we'll see how you are um, with that, see how much um, the strip may have affected you. And um, what I'd first like to do um, is to test uh, your hands for me. Can you can you go like that? All right. All right. And um, if you could close your eyes, I'm going to uh, touch various spots on your hand. If you could let me know when you feel it. Okay, and can you flip your hand over for me? Yeah. Flip yes. 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 Yeah. Can you flip this hand over for me? Yeah. Three, four, five, six. Okay, so it looks like you've got a lot more sensation on that side. <laughs> okay, so the next one. Um, if you could lift your arms up, again, uh, we don't want to stress the incision, but um, if you could lift your arms up and um, touch the back of your head and we'll see um, how you can do, if you can wash your hair, okay. All right, so this one, this is the best one I'd like to go. Okay, you can put your arms down. Through, do the manual muscle testing. I'm going to um, lift your arm up. Okay, and if you could just resist for me. Okay. Hold on, let me move you. 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 And if you could grip my hand for me. Okay, so that's pretty good. And over here we'll do the same thing. Okay. Hold on, let me move you. Alright. Hold on, let me move you. Alright, so there's quite a bit of difference here. Huh? Can you grab my hands for me? Okay, just grab it. Okay. to put my arm underneath here. All right. Hold on, me move you. Hold on, me move you. Hold on, me move you. Pretty steady when you stand up? Yeah, but the longer I stand up, the, the more woozy I get. Okay. So we're having a little issue feel, a little feeling a little tired. Okay, so we're going to have you stand up. We're going to have you hold the pillow. We don't want you to um, push up as you're standing. strength uh, in your left side um, and also uh, since you mentioned that um, you get a little fatigued um, we'll also want to 
gain endurance, but then also um, we want to maximize our movements. Um, so we'll go over some things uh, such as um, sitting. Um, you said that you like to cook. Um, so um, some ways to increase efficiency is gathering all the materials that you need at once. And um, uh, is it possible that you can sit next to the kitchen counter or to the kitchen table while you prepare? Yeah, I've got a stool. Okay. Um, so that would definitely be one thing. Um, is there anything I shouldn't do? Is it okay to cut and chop? Um, so are you uh, right hand or left hand? Okay. Right hand. Um, uh, so yes, uh, so you should be uh, perfectly fine um, using your right hand as long as you feel comfortable and that's another thing that we'll need to work on. Um, so I'll ask uh, the nursing staff when they bring a meal to you to place items on your left hand side so that you're constantly aware of, um, of your left hand side as you become more aware of it, then um, uh, we also start to, to use that more. Okay. Um, so for, uh, as you're being um, discharged, um, so it looks like you do great transferring. Uh, you said that you didn't have any issues with feeling um, dizzy or unsteady, uh, so that's great. So um, I believe, um, a shower chair might be something that would be helpful for you, okay. um, because again, if you're if you're showering at home, then you you might start to fatigue um, before you finish before you finish your shower. So that that would be uh, very helpful and safe for you. Um, as far as uh, services, um, I'd suggest a support group. So as you uh, heal from your surgery and from your stroke that might be um, beneficial for you. And so what we'll do uh, for rehabilitation is uh, while you're in the hospital, um, if you just had the surgery, uh, we'd just do the inpatient, but um, as we're trying to gain mobility with that left hand, um, I think it may be beneficial to, um, to have some outpatient rehab for that. Nice. Okay, and do you have any questions for me? Nope, not that I can think of. Okay, thank you. Thank you.